Is it Young Ma or Young M.A.? Why did the camera start? What the heck? <laughs> I'm over here. I did not press any buttons. Hey, Libra twins. What's up, friends? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Dear September 30th, B-Day Twin Librans. Happy birthday to you. I'm just playing, but really not. <laughs> and many more on channel four and Scooby-Doo on channel two, okay? I was trying to figure out if it's Young Ma or Young M.A. But anyways, we have a channeled song, Libra, 111 on the clock. Or 111 on the timer as I looked up. It came on the radio as soon as I got in the car a little bit ago. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is, this is for us. Because I was already getting in the vibe. Like I'd already gotten dressed for this reading and um, prepared myself. I have channeled messages from the spirit box. And after I tell you guys the messages, I'll tell you where I was when I received the messages where I was with the spirit box, because it wasn't at my table, it wasn't at my home. I have such high energy. I have been so excited for this reading. Yes, I'm excited for every Librans read, but of course this one hits a little closer to home. It's a little more personal because I share this birthday with my birthday twins, September 30th. I've been so excited. I've been patient. Today's the 9th. And I'm like, I have to go in order. And eventually I will catch up. October Librans. 222 on the clock. We're, we're, you're coming up next, baby. <laughs> this is the last day of September. My, my birthday. There's always 30 days in September. There's never 31. So, cheers. Okay. That's just some Dr. Pepper. From, from Fazoli's, by the way. Okay. Libra. September 30th. Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty, but I'm loco. <laughs> okay, Libra. That's your channel song. Let's get in September 30th. I have to keep saying that. September 30th. Let's go into your channel messages and then I'll tell you guys where I was. Okay. They were talking up a storm, which doesn't surprise me. Considering where I was with the spirit box. <laughs> but they were cracking me up. Like the spirits were really talking through the box and they were cracking me up. You won't believe the first thing I heard. You're late getting started. And I'm like, yo, just, just chill. Like I, I'm doing it though. Okay. Yeah. I might, I'm, I might be forever late, but I get to it. It gets done. Okay. That is hilarious. They literally said you're late getting started. I was like, look. <laughs> and then of course I heard official destination multiple times. It always says that official destination i'm like okay and then it kept saying currently offline and i was like who <laughs> who is currently offline in the spirit realm and then i heard join us <laughs> and then they said stay with us you can stay. No, that's what they said. You can stay. And I said, no, no, thank you. I have to go. <laughs> and then I heard from one realm, how weird does it feel? Intensive. Miller. 
journey, drive. So then I started to drive where I was like at a super slow pace. Um, I was in a private, I wasn't in the road. Okay. I wasn't on a main road or anything like that. So it said drive. So I started to like pull forward and then more messages came through. And then I stopped at this sacred area that means something to me. And I got an amazing confirmation from my child's father in the spirit box. You guys, it was wild. I'm not going to share that, but it did say drive. And then it said baby Mozart, which reminded me of like, <sighs> it's so crazy. I definitely would play those CDs or um, DVDs. I remember those D baby Mozart DVDs because I played them for my daughter when she was baby and toddler. And then I heard they are helping us on the other side. This is interesting. What I heard next. Separated myself. Very difficult. They are everywhere. So I don't know if like somebody was trying to come through the spirit box and there were so many spirits around. They were trying to like separate themselves, but it was very difficult because they are everywhere. That's what it could have been. That's all the channeled messages I received for my fellow September 30th born Librans and not to creep anybody out, but there is a cemetery that I grew up uh, very, very close to. Um, I saw 7-Eleven just now. And it's a very, I was going to say very peaceful place. Duh. Um, it's a, it's a special, it's a special cemetery. It's a special place to me. So anyways, that's where I took the spirit box and I happened to just be in that area at the time. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go in here and see what I can hear. And I'm glad I did. We have the two of cups at the bottom of the tarot, Libra. Let's go. Queen of swords. I'm so excited. I brought out the Divination Doors deck. I brought out the Santa Morte. I brought out the Crystal Mandala. And I brought out the Healing Grief so some of us could get a message from a passed over loved one at the very end. So, yes. These are decks that I have not used. Um, I am switching it up for every birthday read. The decks I use, but I definitely haven't used any of these decks yet. I was saving them special for me and the B-Day twins. Not going to front, not going to lie. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. That's how you know I chose the right deck. One more shuffle. Wow. Ace of Swords right after justice. Can we say truth and justice prevails for us the next year? From this September 30th, 2024 until next September 30th, 2024? I think so. It's looking that way. Let's go. Three cards. September 30th, born Librans. Preview for their year ahead. Thank you, Spirit. I am included in this, as you know. I'm talking to Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, thank you, Spirit. Oh my gosh, Libra. Oh, I'm nervous wreck, you know? I'm like, oh. Nine of Cups. Our first card. September 30th, Librans. Hercules, Hercules. Oh, that's exciting. We're going to read all these cards out of their own little book, too. Nine of Cups. Why am I hearing get out your big book? Ooh we I will. I will get out the big book. But the Nine of Cups is a card of parties and social gatherings. At the moment, the cups are empty, but the party is just beginning. Oh my gosh. Laughter and conversation are about to start flowing. Oh, this is so beautiful, Libra. September 30th. This is so beautiful. Your party is just beginning. Oh, I have chills. Laughter and conversation are about to start flowing. Let me grab this book. Okay. Nine of Cups. Get the big, big one out. Of course, the smiling figure in the card might also be a facet of your own personality. Always ready to entertain and fully stocked with the tools and supplies you'll need to get the conversation flowing. Okay, so off top, I feel that with the Queen of Cups at the bottom, You're going to receive an invitation from a Queen of Cups. To a high society or a secret society party. I heard high society first, but then I heard um, loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Then I heard Kendrick and Rihanna. Um, secret society. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. So typically, it shows a bartender in the Nine of Cups, right? Bartenders are uniquely archetypal figures, okay? Wow. I know a bartender who shares my same birth. Day. Shout out to you. I don't know if you know about Liberland. I feel like I should send her this reading. I can't believe this is coming out. Like in my personal life, we share the same birthday and she's a bartender. Wow. This is interesting. Okay. Anyways, bartenders are uniquely archetypal figures. Blessed with the gift of gab. Proficient in the language of small talk and able to banter with anyone who might wander in. Good bartenders are perpetually ready to set them up and hit them again. They are fully stocked with an array of cup-sized conversation starters, sports, politics, books, movies, the news of the day, as well as the social skills they need to tailor every discussion to their customers without alienating or antagonizing them. In that way, bartenders are a lot like counselors and advisors. Bartenders hear a lot of confessions. Part of the job is offering advice and comfort in liquid form. 
For that matter, wow, what? I don't know if I can say that part. I never heard that before, but how interesting. And that's not so true anymore either. Okay, you might even think of a bartender as a low rent high priestess stationed before a curtain of drink that divides this world from the world of inebriation where spirits trump material concerns ooh that was that that um what do they call that Not an enigma. There's a underlying meaning to that. Where spirits trump material concerns. And also you hearing a lot of confessions. Hmm. Maybe at this party or this group, you're going to be the high priestess. If you're not the bartender, you're the high priestess. Or you could also, I'm hearing like a DJ. You're blessed with the gift of gab. It foretells an evening of drinking and social pleasantries. It could describe parties and social events either as a guest or a host. Historically, the Nine of Cups was said to bode well for military men. A comfortable mix of business and pleasure. Because there are nine months of pregnancy. Really, actually there's ten. I worked in labor and delivery. It's between nine and ten. Thirty-six to forty weeks. Forty weeks is full term but anywhere between 30 weeks and 40 is okay. Is, is considered full term, pretty much. Okay. Nines symbolize selflessness, compassion, universality, humanitarianism, and spirituality. I feel like you're going to be making moves, Libra, the next year and a half. Why did I say next year and a half? Okay. You're going to be making moves the next year and a half, apparently, with that universality. Humanitarianism, you're going to be doing very good things. Compassion, spirituality. You're really going to be helping people with your spirituality. What? Astrologically, the Nine of Cups is assigned a 10 to 20 degree Pisces. Someone born between March 1st to the 10th could be significant. And that's pretty crazy considering the Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck, which can also be represented by a water sign. Let's see the Queen of Cups birthday. See how it compares. Okay, the Queen of Cups specifically is 20 degree Gemini to 20 degree Cancer. June 11th through July 11th. Train horn confirmation. Double confirmation on a counselor or therapist. A fair woman. 
good, honest, devoted, intelligent, warm, nurturing, healing, protective, sensitive, psychic, intuitive, a counselor, therapist, the perfect wife and mother. Well, well, well. Okay. Queen of Cups. That could be the energy that you're embodying. Let's keep going. Second card, September 30th, Libra and Sierra Head. Thank you, Spirit. Second card. Top card? I'm hearing top card. Wow. What did I just say? You're going to be traveling. Been around the world. Nay, nay, nay. The world? 2111 on the timer. 2111. Been around the world. Nay, nay, nay. Oh, you and a partner? There is for sure a partnership coming and you too, if you're not already in one, you two mix business and pleasure perfectly. I heard it's super sultry as well. Hots, hots, hots. Super sultry. <sighs> She's the queen of the witches. You could almost say the queen of the world. She holds power over people, places, and things. 2222. Master of the universe. Holy. Libra. September 30th. Some of you are becoming masters of the universe. And you're going to be taking this partner along with you for the ride. Across the stars. I'm writing that down. Master of the universe. You're mastering universal laws, concepts, manifestation, abilities. Okay, this is interesting. The Eight of Cups just popped out as your third and final card. with the wheel of fortune at the bottom. Wow. This is the big one. For this to come after the world, the world is a card of completion. The eight of cups shows you completely walking away, leaving something behind. The wheel of fortune talks about cycles. Wow. You're leaving, for some of you, you're leaving behind a downturn cycle of your life. If you feel like you've experienced, if you're asking like yourself, where are my blessings? Um, if you've experienced a downturn in your fortune or luck, you're walking away from that cycle. I put it like this. That's how they came out anyways. Literally. You're walking away from an old cycle in your life this next year. You got options. 
You got options. You got a million people watching. Yeah, they're clocking. They're amazed at your abilities. She's giving a cookie to the dragon. It's giving mother of dragons. Holy. <laughs> you have the mother of dragons. Strength. And the queen of the witches. The queen of the world. And spirit said, some of you, September 30th born Librans, are becoming masters of the universe. And you're leaving behind a cycle of poverty, depression, behind. I heard feeling less than, not having enough. That cycle is done. You're leaving that behind. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was so nervous to, you know, see what tarot cards were going to come out. OMG. Let's get a message using the Santa Morte. And then I'm going to get the Divination Doors deck. Three shuffles. I think number seven is the feminine card. I could be wrong when I say it. Yep, feminine. Take the necessary time to study and meditate before executing your project. Perhaps ask a feminine or maternal figure for advice. Ooh, your dreams are manifesting. Manifesting. Your dreams are manifesting. Write down what you can remember of your dreams. Dream journal, please. Your dreams hold important messages from past over loved ones, is what I just heard in my mind. Whoa, that was quick. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Number 10. Well, you have 10, 10 here. That's interesting. I'm recording this on October 9th. So the day before 10, 10, but the wheel of fortune is number 10. Can't show a lot of that card, but it's pretty trippy. Let's see what it means. <gasps> what? Okay, hold on, you guys. I have to check something. So this card is this is this name did this name come out in the live stream from this morning if it did that's going to be super trippy let me look wait i can just look in the book duh have to see. <gasps> it did. Okay. Okay. This king of the dead. Has now shown themselves twice in one day. I have no idea how to pronounce that name, the M, but for those of you that caught the live stream this morning, it's no longer up, it's gone, but for those of you that did catch it live, you knew when I read 
Lady de los Muertos that that name came out because I showed you on the screen. It's right there again. My ears ringing. 3013 on the timer. I just had to check and see because this doesn't happen every day, right? No, it does not. So this is the king of the dead and the afterlife. Okay, this is bizarre. Before this reading, I posted the channeled song, Prince. I would die for you. If you only do. I would for you. What? And you have the king of the dead? What? Ruler of the deepest part of the underworld. I'm getting chills. Oh, wait, is that his wife? Okay, I might have got the names mixed up. Along with his wife, which is another long M-I-C-T name. Did we pick up on a couple? The, cu the underworld couple? MCT. <gasps> They're not the same words. Oh my gosh, this is insane. The Aztec goddess Mixteca Chachihatul, okay, is an Aztec goddess, the wife of the king of the dead and the afterlife. We literally have them both here today. I have more chills. Along with his wife, he forms the binary and complementary opposition of dis... We see him can't say all this. The analysis before the synthesis. The advice of the dead. It's time to look at the situation from a more in-depth point of view. To analyze the circumstances before you before putting the pieces back together. And look who's right after, the queen of the dead. You know, wasn't Aaliyah in that movie and wasn't she the queen or was she a vampire queen? Because I talked about her this morning too. The advice of the queen of the dead to study, the study and analysis you have done is sufficient. The time has come to put them to work. Enacting your own synthesis. darkness mm. you hear the dog as soon as I showed you the darkness card the dog started barking you'll always be alerted to the darkness. If there's dark ones around you, September 30th Librans, you'll always be alerted. Pay attention at all times.
the advice of the dead, take a moment's pause, meditation, or study, as you need to understand what form to give to your energy and where to apply it. Okay, divination doors. Obviously, what the spirits are trying to tell us with these cards, this couple, you most definitely are already in a partnership with your divine counterpart or for many, many, many of you that I'm reading for, for that couple to show up both in the same day. It's never happened before, ever in the history of Libraland. So... That's a message. You're definitely entering into a divine counterpart relationship if you're not already in it between this birthday and the next. Let's go. What is the message for Libra? September 30th, born Librans. What is their card? That's two. Amit. Shen Er. That's two. Just one, please. The Nateru. horns Mateiru. the emerald tablet Neteru, Netter Neteru has no number and does not belong to any family. It is an expression of the absolute, similar to the Brahmin of Vedic tradition. The name Netter goes back to the most remote antiquity and its hieroglyph was believed to represent an axe. But from more recent archaeological findings, it is evident that it represents a standard consisting of a staff or rod of wood with a pennant fastened to it. Such standards were placed in front of the chapels of early cults and designated the presiding divinity which most probably had its name written on it. Through a comparison, we can surmise why a flag could become the object designated, designating the actual place of the divinity. For example, in Tibet, the prayer flag consists of a prayer or sacred name mantra written on a flag, which, when blown by the wind, subtly emits in the ether the sound of the written name, which is equivalent to the power of the oral recitation. Extending the divinity's command to the surrounding places and people It's about psychic power in yourself, magic, the wind of the spirit, 
the cosmic axis, axis of voodoo magic, the spiritual tree of life. Can I get to this other page? What the heck? It's like stuck together. Okay, thank you. Wow, there it is again. This is so crazy. In the words of the Emerald Tablet, this is the strong strength of all strength, for it will vanquish any subtle thing and penetrate any solid thing. As mentioned previously, in some hieroglyphs, the rod of the flag is painted green, affirming again the qualities of expansion, growth, and life expressed by this color. Look at all the green. This is crazy. I'm reading this card, you guys. That card is all green, mostly. Green, green crown, like roots. No, not like roots, excuse me. Like, look at the new growth coming from her crown. like sprouts they're sprouting green is also the color of the planet mercury the penetrating mind it is also the color of the emerald tablet anything can be done Nothing is impossible. Expect the unexpected. Whew. It is a kaleidoscope of all worlds, all universes. Oh my gosh, that's taking me back to childhood when I used to look through a kaleidoscope, you know, and you'd see all those different patterns and colors. Whoa, I just got major chills. September 30th, Librans, my B-Day twins, like, your life is going to be so different and so beautiful. It's going to be like looking through a kaleidoscope. Forty-three, forty-three on the timer. Let's see what that means. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> forty-three, forty-three represents healing and self-care. Focus on love and relationships. The angels want you to know that emotional suffering may be healed. But it does take time. Take care of yourself. So you may return to love, refreshed and ready for something new. Single Librans, I'm telling you, I have felt it throughout this whole read. My single September 30th Librans, like me. Okay, this is getting really long and I'm starting to feel a little guilt because I've kept 44, 44. I've kept everyone else's roughly around 30 minutes. <sighs> so I am going to pull a Crystal Mandela card, but I'm not going to read it in its entirety, okay? I knew I was going to go over the 30 minutes because it's 
It's me. It's my birthday reading too. And I can kind of do what I want to do. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to go, you know, too, too, too far. Because that's not fair. And I like to be fair too. What the heck? What the heck is going on? Look at this archangel's name. I've heard of it before. But it's another long M name. That's three long M names. And I just heard a knock over in my kitchen. I don't know if the camera picked that up. Archangel Melchizedek. Huh. M names. Hmm. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa, I have such chills. <gasps> Look at that green. Look at that green, your heart chakra, major healing, major upgrade. This is wild. September 30th, Librans, you have ascended master Buddha. And in the description of the Nateru card, in the very beginning, it mentioned Buddhism. That's interesting. Wild compassion, but look what came out. This 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 blows my mind. Goddess, I've never gotten this card. Goddess Ishtar, daring rebirth. Oh, low flying plane overhead. Honestly, they've been taking some late night rides. It is not a commercial plane. It is literally a small private Cessna that always drives, <laughs> drives, that always flies around above my neighborhood. And they just went by. I hope the camera picked that up. Anyway, like, do you want to come scoop me up in the private jetty? Like, what's up? <laughs> Speak up. So this person, whoever the divine masculine is, if that's you, September 30th, born Librans, if I'm talking to some divine masculines right now that share my birthday, hey, twin. <laughs> um, you definitely are going to have to speak up to the divine femme. The Divine Feminine are going to be in our own energy the next year. And the Divine Masculine need to be completely in their masculine energy. And then you guys come together. And it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. All right, 41. Let's just read a little bit of it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll just read the last paragraph because, whoa. There is a new you emerging. It might shock your friends and family. People may accuse you of not being you anymore, but you are becoming more you than ever before. Trust the new you emerging in the greater authenticity and strength you are discovering in yourself. You do not have to squash your being to fit in with the expectations of any other. Through daring rebirth, you tap into the courage you need, not only to go through the process of transformation, 
but the spiritual sassiness you need to give yourself permission to love and be the new you that emerges at the other side of it. Treasure that self reborn for it has been hard won and is a divine treasure. September 30th, Librans. I mean, you know, I don't like to play favorites again, but um, you got a really good read. You got a really good reading, and I think it's pretty wild that the cards kind of all confirm each other. I mean, as always, that's how you know spirit is really with us, but the fact that you're getting ready to emerge as a new you... And your tarot cards were the world with the eight train with the eight of cups and the wheel at the end. Don't forget the nine of cups was your first card. You're celebrating a new you, a new cycle, a new journey, a new book. It's beyond a new chapter. Are you ready? Let's go get them, B. <laughs> Let's go get them, Lieb. Let's go get them, Libra. Thank you, Spirit, so much for this reading. Passed over a loved one message, please. Thank you. Wounded people wound people. Healed people heal people. Today I will focus on my healing. Bottom of the deck. Grief must be witnessed. We all want our life, death, and grief witnessed. Let's get one more. Thank you. Best over loved one for September 30th born Librans. One more message. Your grief is real because the love was real. Do not doubt your grief. Do not let it be minimized. The intensity of the grief is there. Spirit, that train, this is so crazy. The intensity of the grief is there because of the intensity of the love. Your passed over loved one is coming through and letting you know that love is eternal. There is no right way to grieve. Your life is different than everyone else's, and so is your grief. Love is eternal. I love you, Libra, from the bottom of my heart chakra. Happy birthday, birthday twins. Belated. I hope you had a blessed one. Stay balanced. Stay blessed. Until next time, everybody.